Okay, let me show you how to create a frequency chart here. We have our data here and we have a class width of 0.2. You could just sort of count through these and find out how many fall between 0 and 0.19 and so on, but let's use StatCrunch to do that. So I'm going to click this little here, little button on the right, top right. Almost all data sets will have this. You can put the clipboard Excel, but I'm going to show you in StatCrunch. So this will open up the data in StatCrunch. Here it is. We have to do something first before we can do that. We have to what's called bin the data. So we have to put the data in bins. So if you go to the data tab and then click on bin, we're going to select the column. Look at var. And we could do it automatically, but we already know what the bin widths need to be at. We're going to start with zero, and the bin width it said was 0.2. Um, do we want the bin edge, this 0.2, to um, include the left endpoint or include the right endpoint? In general, it doesn't matter that much. Um, it, it's only going to make a difference every once in a while, so I don't want to make too big of a deal about which direction you go. Usually the text will tell you. Okay, so we bend it. So now, if you notice, we have variable 1 is 0.32 is in between 0.2 and 0.4. And 0 is in between 0. Now, is go ahead and create a frequency table. So go to stat, table, frequency. I'm going to choose the bend variable. And I'll do frequency and relative frequency. Press compute. Now I can put the data in. So this first one from 0 to 0.2 is 22. And so on. 5, 2, 1. But notice we've skipped a bin, right? So we're, we're going from 0 from 0.2 to 0.4, which is good, so that's 5 and then 0.4 to 0.6 is 2. But be careful here, 0.6 to 0.8, we don't have any. So that's a 0. And then 0.8 to 1, there's not any there either. That's a 0. And then from 1 to 0.2, I don't believe there are any there. So that's a 0. But there is was 1 from 1.2 to 1.4. So we'll go ahead and check it. Nice work. Got it. Now very soon you're going to be creating a histogram with this data. Let me just go ahead and show you that. And I, actually, I find this a little bit easier than doing what I did here. When I go to graph and choose histogram, I don't have to bend the data. In fact, it won't even allow me to pick that. So I just click the variable. I can put start at 0, width at 0.2. If I want to put the values above the bars, I can. And then click Compute. And notice this is a visual representation, so it's really clear that between 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.1, 1, and 0.2, there's no data. And notice that these do align with what, the same thing I got when I created my uh, frequency table, 22, 5, 2, but then there's a 0, 0, 0, and then a 1. Hope that helps.